Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to learn how we can install a new service pack into our AIM instance. Uh, currently, let me go first go to my system overview tab to look at the version that I'm currently running. I'm running 6.5.2 and the newest version or newest, new, newest service pack I can actually download is 6.5.5 and that was released a few days ago uh, when I have when I'm recording this video. So let's go learn how we can uh, download that package from the package share and install it through package manager. So in order to navigate to package share, I'm going to click on my tool, make sure I'm clicking on my tool section and we're going to go down to deployment and from here we can click on package share. Now when you click on package share it's going to open up the sign in portal or you just need an Adobe ID to sign in to the package share. Now I've already signed in, so I'm gonna go over to that tab. And this is what package share looks like. Um, in order to find you know, the service pack for your current version of AEM, um, I'd recommend simply just typing in you know, which version you're running. So not the full version, but maybe the 6.5 or 6.4 uh, version you're running. So I'm gonna just type in 6.5 and see what appears. All right, so we have a few packages at the top. Um, we can see we have some AM Forms add-on packages here. Um, now, if you want to make sure your Forms instance has the latest package installed, um, there's actually a, a dependency, or the package itself needs to make sure, or can only be installed on a instance that's the same version. So we need to make sure we can have AM and or the AM service pack installed first, which will get us up to that 6.5.5 instance before we can install something like a AM forms add-on that is also um, for the same version. So we need to install the service pack first, and then uh, you know we're taking the service pack. We can look at details of it. Um, if there were any screenshots, I don't think there will be, or any assets, we could look at it. We could download it to um, save offline in, in case you're instance of AM is not connected to the internet, we can still access this website um, on its own. So that's pretty neat. Uh, but you know, we can see the description of it, but we're kind of focused on you know the download of it. We could also read the EULA if we wanted to. So I'm just gonna click on download, um, you know, read through this, click accept, and we'll click OK. So it's gonna take a second to download. Um, and once it's downloaded, we will then install it. All right, so now it's downloaded. Um, you can see it says downloaded. Uh, and in order to get to this package in package uh, in our package manager, we could actually simply just click on downloaded, and it's going to take us to the package manager where this package is um, located. And in order to install it, very simple, click on install, and we'll click on install again. So now it's going to install the package. This might take some time, um, but it's gonna make sure everything is installed correctly. Uh, sometimes a restart, a server restart is required, and if there is a restart required, we will be notified of that. Um, but I believe for the service packages, it doesn't typically require a restart. I think it's only, I've only encountered it if I've installed a newer version of the AM Forms add-on package. And we can see that it actually finished up really quickly. Uh, the install is complete, um, but of course it can't, I mean, it could, it could hurt a little bit if you need to restart your servers to make sure that everything is you know, up and running correctly. All right, we're back. Um, I had to step away for just a moment. So I uh, basically just let the installer do its thing, make sure that all of the background processes got installed correctly. Um, so now uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check which version of AM I'm currently running. So at the beginning of the video, we started out at 6.5.2, and we saw, and then we installed the service pack for 6.5.5. So we go back to system overview, and we can see that we are currently running 6.5.5. So that's telling us that we are running uh, that version, the newest version of AEM. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, please give it a like, uh, comment, and please subscribe, and have a nice day. Thank you.